Hi everyone, welcome back to He Missed Some Love Life, episode 6, where Yahiro finds out he has not one, but three half-sisters. So, around the time he was born, the father went overseas and to many countries, and he had affairs with different people from the royal families, and he made three daughters, and they grew up to be princesses, and now they're all here, so they want to see who the other siblings are in the Yahiro father family, so Kengo-sama. So now that there are more people in Yahiro's household, it means that it's going to get more chaotic and he has to find some way to keep order in a house of six. So he thought it was just going to be Io and him and it was a problem when Ruria came in but now we also have Micah and her maid Sakuno and Latifa. So I'm sure the second floor is now filled. So before Yahir goes to bed, Ruria wants to talk to him for something. So she's like, oh, so Ruria, are you still awake? Oh, so Yahir is talking to her. Hi. Um, yes. So you can't sleep. So, so. Um, well, for a little bit. So, you must have just arrived in Japan. So, are you feeling homesick? Well, anyways, if you have any trouble, tell Io or me. Um, Yahiro-sama? Yes? Well, I'm a little worried. So, why? So, there are many attractive women around Yahiro-sama plus Io-san. And why are you worried? Well, I'm afraid that I won't be able to deal with such things anytime soon. So I'm thinking about... I'm not sure what Ruria is thinking about. So she's being vague. Well, it's okay. So it hasn't been long since we met, but Ruria is also in my family. So Ruria? And I can't make out her expression because she has her face down, but it seems that her shoulders are shaking little by little. Well, if you say that you don't want to be with just your family, what will you do? Hmm... And I can't get the meaning of those words. So what do you mean? Well... I want to be closer to Yahiro-sama, so that's what I mean. And when Ruria raises her face, her cheeks are bright red. Uh, well, that. And judging from the situation, I know she is referring to something romantic. Well, so I'm sorry, so I said something strange. Well, no, 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 it's okay. And I'm somewhat relieved that Ruria took me to the direction and cut the conversation. Well, I might have been shaken by the sudden arrival of many people. 
or many attractive people. So isn't so? Aren't you the same? So you look attractive too, huh? And even Ruria is cute, like any other girl. Well, she's cute, and it is a little embarrassing, but it's true. Is that so? Uh, yes. But, well, and it's embarrassing. And after saying that, Ruria quickly leaves my room. Well, so me too is getting embarrassed. And it might have been the first time I've directly, or a girl, told me that. Or I told a girl that she's cute. Okay. And I'm embarrassed that I can't sleep tonight. Okay, so it looks like it's the next day, and we have Ruria and. Maybe Latifa feeding Yahiro, so Ruri's like, Okay, Yahiro-sama, so please open your mouth. So Ruri, who is sitting next to me, holds out a, I'll say, like a sausage with chopsticks. And since it's Sunday, we all had late breakfast today. Uh, no, no, it's okay, so I'm not a kid, so I can help myself. Well, don't say that, so come on! So everyone is around, including Io who cooked the food. Uh, well, that's why, so it's in front of everyone, it's not... Or... So is it because you don't like wieners or, um, I'll say, sausage sausages? But you know, Io was the one who seasoned this. Um, so yeah, here's like, let's see. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll eat it then. Well, that's not what I what Io meant, says Io. Hmm. Okay. So ah. Uh. uh Okay, it's good. <laughs> and Ruria is smiling. And Ruria's expression is brighter than usual, as if talking last night had taken some of her anxiety away. <gasps> and from Latifa, oh, so Yahiro kun, you have ketchup on your cheeks. Huh? And this time, Lottie's son, who is next to me, wipes my cheek with a wet towel. Okay, so all clean. And now it's shiny. Or it's beautiful. Oh, thanks. Oh, uh, oops. So I'm sorry for the intrusive imitation, so maybe I should not have been too proactive. No, I don't mind. And we can see Io a little bit upset. So as I look down, Io begins to groan for some reason. Io? Okay, so what's wrong? Wait, so why are you shouting all of a sudden, or screaming? So, Onichan is not a little child, so don't spoil him! Well, I didn't mean to do that, but... Well, I was just worried about him getting dirty. 
確かに旗から見たらガキを甘やかしてるようにしか見えねえわね。So from Micah's perspective, well, it doesn't look like they are spoiling this kid. <laughs> Or more. So Micah just ignores the commotion and just drinks soup. Or miso soup. So Micah says something that will make you click. Well, that's right. So, Oni chan is not a little kid, and even his hair is messy. <laughs> and what are you saying while we are eating? says Micah, so she chokes on her soup. But it's true. Well, I'm telling you to think about the time and situation. Okay, I'll cut this part out. So apparently, Eel's like, well, you know, he's a guy and you. I want him to show proof that he's not a little kid, which means taking off his clothes. Wait. There's no way you can do that. So Micah's like, well, do you imagine it? Well, thanks to you, the food is spoiled. Well, so Sakuno's like, well, it doesn't matter if it tastes bad, but it's not a reason to leave the sal alone. So once again, Micah, you need to eat your vegetables. So, The salad. So please eat cleanly. Uh, okay. I know. And just when I thought that Micah had become quiet, Sakuno stared at my face. So, what is it, Sakuno san? Hmm, so I was just wondering if. Yahiro sama likes tamagoyaki. So she looks at my plate and asks if the tamagoyaki is already gone. So I think Sakuna made that and she's wondering the feedback from Yahiro. Uh, well, I'm not good at fry eggs, but I do like them. So, I'm going to use the food in the food. I'm going to use the food in the food. Okay, then, so I'll make it again for dinner. So please try it and see if it suits your taste. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing Sakuno san make this then. And more anger from Io. So Io looks down again. Wait, so what's going on now? So, are you trying to say that you don't like the tamagoyaki that Io made? Well, do you hear what I just said? So, I just said that I'm done eating. Well, I'm sure that's not the case. But, anyways, it's bad manners. But I use my chopsticks to point to the plate on which the tamagoyaki had been placed. Okay, so here, try my portion. And when I naturally or carefully use my chopsticks, Ruria brings the omelette to my mouth. Okay, so ah.、Uh... Oh, so I'll give you mine too, says Latifa. So Ruria and Lati's son sandwich the omelette with their chopsticks and they bring it to my mouth. Well, you two are no good. Huh? Um. So, even if you feed him a lot and make him fat, he's not. I'm not sure what full gloss means. Well, of course. 
みんなのためにお料理作ってるんだから食べてくれないとイオのご機嫌が斜めなんだよ。So besides, イオ is cooking for everyone, including or not just o n i c h a n So if you don't eat, then イオ will be in a bad mood. すみません。Um, sorry? ごめんなさい。So excuse me, I'm sorry. これはちょっと。Hmm. So there needs to be a meeting for this. A、uh, meeting? So it's a meeting that will determine the rules for this place. Oh, yeah. So what else does Yahir say? So, we all have different nationalities and we come from different cultures. And that's why. And Ia points at me. So, a n i c h a n hurry up and eat. Well, I understand, but why are you pushing me? Well, just do it. Understood. Okay, so I'll finish eating. And there isn't much left, so I finished eating the rice in a hurry. Okay, well, thanks for the meal. So, sorry about this, but Oni-chan? Huh? So, so there will be a meeting, so. Please go for a walk. Wait, so why? So the meat is no good if Oni chan is present. Well, why then? So you're not explaining anything, you just tell me to go. Well, so no matter what, so just go buy some. Let's see. Garigun Kun's soda on your way back. Wait, so am I an、um, elementary school student? So I'm taking orders from you? Well, just come back in about an hour. And since it's a long way to break, I'm thinking about playing around with my computer in my room. But I'm sure that's not what Io wants right now. Well, Oni chan, so just get out. Understood. So I went outside without knowing why that I got kicked out. Okay, so now with Yahiro out, Io can start the meeting. So with my Oni chan, Out, we're going to hold this meeting. So, why do you kick him out? Wait, so you really listened in on what was going on? Yeah? Okay, so now Io starts the meeting and she calls it the Oni chan summit, so the first one. And what's that about? So, it's a discussion where Io decides how you girls handle Oni chan. Well, that's dumb. So, Io san, what kind of things are you going to talk about at this Oni chan summit? So, what happens if one of you end up taking Oni chan, falling in love with him? So, is that a problem? So, what did Io say? So, yes, and Sakura san is beautiful, and 
Onichan might attack you. Well, isn't that just a crime then? Well, in that case, I don't see myself falling in love with Onis or Yahir sama. Well, so okay with the details. Well, it's not even detail at all. Um, well, so in the end, I don't really understand what Io Chan is trying to say, says Latifa. Well, in short, do not flirt with Oni Chan. Wait, so was I flirting? says Latifa. Well, from the way it looks, you were flirting with him. Uh, that's right. So, did I flirt with him too? says Ruria. So, Ruria chan was intensively or is super flirtatious. Wait, so I was really doing it so super? Well, I was just learning. And now, Sakido stands up. Um, Iyo-san, so I have a question for you. Yes, please do. Please ask. So, even if one of us goes out with Yahiro-sama, should we not flirt? Um... So I think the possibility is... Or there's a good chance it can happen. Well... Or are you trying to say that Yahiro-sama is already going out with someone else and we should not flirt? Well, so there's no such person and see. Well, you'll understand. Or if you do, you'll understand. Well, it is true that he's not dating anyone, says Maria. So, so Wait, so is that so? Well, I don't think there's anyone who would like someone who is a perv like him, says Micah. So, only child is not perverted, he's just, well, too much H thoughts. Well, that's even worse then. So, Iyo-san, if there is someone here who likes Yahiro-sama, then what should I do? Well, then, so if you think that Oni-chan likes her too, then the flirt can be okay. So that means you won't get in the way, says Sakuno. Um. So la, so la Latifah's like, well in Japan, love is free. Wait, so Lati Senpai, do you really like Oni-chan then? Well, I didn't mean that. Well, then what are you thinking about? So, the garbage? Bug? 
Well, I don't think it's rude. So, you're being too extreme. Really? So, are you aware? So, Iyo-san? What is it, Rui-chan? So, even if I go out with Yahiro-sama, will you still bless me? So, I don't know what you is saying, so, Konchigo, show. Well, might think at first, but if Oni-chan does pick you, Ruya-chan, then Iyo won't get in your way. Iyo-san? Well, Iyo is just a little lonely. <laughs> so, everyone, so it's not good that we're talking or going hypothetical ideas. Yeah, so it really feels like a waste of time. So the things that, well, we don't know who Yahir or Onichi-san or whatever likes. So maybe he's just normal and... So the bottom line is that whoever Yahiro Sama chooses, everyone won't get in the way. So is that fair, alright? Okay, so Io won't lose. Hmm, so we're rivals, right? So, Maika-chan has no idea about the good parts of Oni-chan, so she can say that. Hmm, nice place, nice plan. So, you're better than Io at things like laundry or folding clothes. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> hmm, so Yahiro-sama, hmm, so he was good at those sort of things, right? <laughs> so yeah, and um, so Oni-chan, oh, so also a story about, about him. Okay, so it's now about an hour and it's time for Yahio to return. So I feel that's more like Io's jealous that all the other girls are all over Yahiro and it really looks like they're trying to be closer to him. So Ruya feeding Yahiro and Latifa helping him clean up and Sakino asking about, hmm, so I wonder if my taste fits you. So anyways, let's see how it continues. So it's now about an hour have passed since I, since I left the house. So I brought a built-in TV capture board because I wanted to play around with my computer in my room. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, Okay, and the first person to greet Yahiro is Ruya. So, oh, um, Yahiro sama, so welcome back. Oh, I'm home, so is it okay to come in now? Yep, so Io san's story had just ended. So, in the end, what did you talk about? Um, so it's best kept secret. And Ruya's expression looks like she's having a lot of fun. <laughs> hmm, 
So you also have an unexpected side to you, Yahiro-sama. Wait, so what are you talking about? <laughs> um, secret. And she says it with a smile, and then Maria turns her back to me. Wait, so Maria, well, I'm curious, so I want to know what you girls were, were talking about in my absence. So, what did Io talk about with everyone? And I hope she didn't say anything strange. Okay, so now Yahiro can finally go back to his room. So, okay, I'm tired. And in the end, after shopping, I just wander around town. And he gets a knock. So, okay, yes. Um, Yahiro-sama, so it's Ruria. May I talk to you for a moment? Um, okay, so you can come in. Okay, so excuse me. So what happened? So why do you want to come in here? Um, so I'm sorry for being sudden. Yes. Um, so I have a favor to ask of you. So please do? So earlier I heard from Io-san that Yahiro-sama is good with computers. Um, yeah, so if it's about self-built PCs, let's see, are you reasonably familiar with it? Wait, so you made it yourself? So I just buy the parts and assemble it together. Wait, so you can do something like that? Yeah, well, it's not that difficult once you get used to it. Wow, so that's wonderful. No, 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 it's not that big of a deal. So see her with an enraptured face makes me feel apologetic. So if you use, use a computer, you can keep in touch with other people with something called mail, right? Oh yeah, so well, I can send emails via my cell phone, but but in my country, we don't use mobile phones. So there might be no reception or cell phone towers in Fondina. Wait, so is that so? So there are many countries around Fondina, but even among them, it falls into the category of a fairly small country. So we're small. Hmm. And come to think of it, I feel like I haven't heard much about Ruria's country yet. So because we are a small country, our finances aren't that great, so the development of infrastructure isn't progressing very well. So we don't have the money that we can or we need to modernize the country. Hmm, so infrastructure. So you mean cell phone infrastructure. So cell phone towers, service. Well, it should have included public facilities. So that means electricity, gas, and water. 
苦情トレーディングカンパニーと取引があるのは大変助かっているのです。And that's why it's good to have deals with something like the Kujo train company. So have them leverage or help us develop. Oh, so that's my father's company. So, yeah, and let's see. So, he is very helpful. However, the financial resource alone is not enough to cover public facilities. Hmm. So, for father, so isn't he playing overseas? Well, then again, it's not Ruya's fault, is it? Well, if that's the case, and wouldn't it be useless to think about it deeply? So, when Ruya succeeds to the throne, maybe we should think about that. Is that so? Well, I think so. But at this point, are people unsatisfied or dissatisfied? No, so I have never heard of such a story. And then there should be no problem then. So I'm sure your people don't mind living without the modern tech, so no cell phones. So humans can't get along well without. The convenience. I understand. And as if she's convinced, she replies with a serious expression. And somehow she's looking at my face. So, what is it? So, nothing much. I just thought that hearing the Hirosama's words would put me at, at ease. Is that so? So, yeah, and it makes me feel like I can entrust everything to you. Okay, that's good. So, that's my honest opinion. And it is embarrassing, but it's kind of tickling. Okay, so next. Okay, so I purposely clear my throat to change the subject. So, anyways, so Ruria wants email, right? Or wants to contact by email? Hi. Yes? Well, then, so since it's a big deal, I'll build a PC with the parts that I have left over, so I'll build you a computer. So, when you say assemble, do you mean create? Well, yeah, so it's a bit slow in performance, but it should not be a problem for just email and internet. So, even though I'll be using older components, it shouldn't be that bad for. What you're going to use it for. But isn't it time consuming? No, well, it's okay, so I like to build computers. And before I moved, I used to build my friend's computer. So, as long as it does not cause more trouble for Yahiro sama, please do. So, please make me a computer. Um, okay, so let's see. So, just wait for a moment. So, I think he already has some pieces assembled, so like the motherboard, and maybe he already has the software installed. Okay. So I start rummaging through the cardboard boxes containing the parts. Okay, so this is the end of the settings. So I think 
he finally put one together for Ruria. So, it is amazing that you can make one so quickly and even finish everything. So, Yahiro Sama is amazing. Well, it's not like that. And I feel that it's more like he's giving Ruria one of his older builds. So, it is kind of outdated. There you go. But it is still fun to build your own. Okay, so can I use the mail function now? Okay, so I set it up to my account, but do you know the address to send it to? So I need a send to address. Hmm, so where? So I want you to send a mail to Fondina. Wait, so who's Fondina? Um, so I want you to send one to my mother. And do you know her email address? Um, I don't know. Okay, so you know emails are just like letters. So pretty much Ruria needs to have her email address. And given that her country is kind of on the underdeveloped side, I don't think her mother has a computer. So I can't send it until I know the address that you want to send it to. You. So wait, so is the address not enough? Well, so that's impossible. So does anyone there have a computer? So Ruria lowers her eyes timidly and apologetically. So actually my country does not have that many computers. Uh-huh. So you know, I don't really live much on electricity in my life. Oh, that's right. So yeah, I'm sorry. Well, no, so Rui does not need to apologize, but... So you said earlier that the infrastructure environment is not ready, but I don't think it's that bad. So to the point where some people don't even have basic utilities like electricity. So you mean that you can't use the internet? I'm sure that's another step forward, so they need some kind of bandwidth provider. So yeah, and I know of its existence by reading books from different countries, but I have never actually done it. Okay. I see, so then it's a bit impossible to send emails or exchange by emails. I see, I understand, so we'll just communicate by old fashioned paper letter. Okay, well that might that might be good. So, Yahiro-sama, so I'm sorry that I've caused you to waste your time on me. Well, it's okay. So what else does he say? Let's see. Well, even if you don't mind, it's alright. So since it's a big deal, why not learn how to use the internet or rather how to use a computer? So now that you're here where there's plenty of technology available, how about you take the opportunity to learn? So how to use a computer? So it'll, defi it'll definitely become popular in Ruya's country at some point, so it's best to start now. 
So, can you show me? Um, okay. So, I put Ruria in a chair and started teaching her the very basics. So, keyboard, mouse, screen. So, there you go. So, a monitor, keyboard, and a mouse. And Rui's like, so thanks to Yahiro-sama, I know how to use this now. Okay, I see. So I'll give you the computer that I just built so you can use it however you like. Okay, thank you very much. And I will study various things so I'll learn more about using computers. And then for now, so I'm going to move this computer to Ruya's room. Wait, so there's a folder in here that Iosa mentioned. Um, and when I'm thinking about how to set up Ruya's computer, Ruya raises her voice. Oh, so there's this folder. Okay, so there's this folder called Landscape. Hmm. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Undo, undo. Hi, everyone. So, unfortunately, I had to cut the rest. And so the word Landscape, that's an obvious giveaway. So he was using it as a cover-up or a mask on the folder that houses or is storing his H images. And when Ruya opened up the folder, for some reason, she was attracted to it. And she kept looking at it until Yahiro had to close it with a wireless mouse. And even though it's closed, it gave Ruya wrong ideas. And she thinks it's education or learning material. So anyways, it's now night. So I apologize when I took the computer with me, but Ruya pretend not to care. And I don't know if it's or she's sincere or not, but she treats me like never before and I'm relieved to Caress my chest. Okay, so pushing that computer incident aside, so it's now time for class and Eo's happy about. So it's kind of nice to be able to go to school with everyone. So after everyone had breakfast and left the house and walked for a while, Eo says something like this. Well, really? Yeah, so... Let's see. So it feels like we've gotten bigger. Well, actually, I somehow understood what EO wanted to say. So basically, there's more people, and it feels like we have company. So four girls, including EO and the maid, Sakuna-san, and I'm the only guy in the group, and strange not to draw attention to myself. But it is wonderful to be able to walk around freely like, like this. Yeah, so I live in Japan longer than Ruya, so I've gotten used to it. So if you are in a position of a princess, you probably won't be able to walk outside that easily. So basically, you'll have maids, 
bodyguards. And you'll probably be swamped by the other people. So the citizens, the residents. So in exchange for that. And it seems that Micah is an outlier, so huh? Wait, so you were looking at me just now, weren't you? So are you complaining about something? Oh, so she had an alter altercation with another male student. So I'm not watching. So, FYI, she's a princess. So Maika-sama, this is called being too self-conscious. Well, I just made eye contact with this person. Well, if you complain because you made eye contact, there's no end. But... Well, if something happens, I'll protect you. Well, I don't mind if Sakuno does not protect me. Well, it's my duty to protect Maika-sama. And it's true that Sakuno-san is reliable because she can handle anything. Okay, I understand. So next time you see me, I'll beat you up or I'll knock you out. Ha, hi. Uh, okay, says the other male student. Micah, so did she have this attitude even before she changed schools? And it's been working fine until now. Um, Yahiro-sama, so how are you doing? Uh, well, nothing much. So, are you worried about Maika-san? Well, I don't really mind. Well, I don't live to be taken care of by you. Yes, yes. And don't answer like you're making a fool out of people like me. And once again, Sakura throws darts at Micah. So a small fast object passes between Micah and me. Well, I'm sorry for bothering the other students, so please take care of yourself, both of you. Okay. Wait, so was that a dart arrow? Uh, well, I, I know. And while exchanging such things, we head to the school. Okay, so in class. So I'm tired from morning. And now we have Chisa. Uh-huh. So while lying down, face down on the desk, I raise my head when someone calls out to me. Oh, so Chisa. Or let's see. Yahasu. So Yahasu says Chisa. Oh well, good morning. Hmm, so you must be tired from morning. Well, just for a little bit. So it must be tiring to deal with such beautiful women. Huh? So basically, it's generate headlines for the school. So a dull ordinary transfer student has entered school with such cute girls. Wait. So are you not clear? So what about me? 
Well, Yahi? So, what is it? Luria chan to Imoto san no koto wa ki ta kedo sa. どうしてラティーファさんと喧嘩八段の一年生も一緒に投稿してきたわけ So, I know that you are with Ruria chan and your little sister Io, but why did you come to school with Latifa san and that, let's see, eighth belt fighter? Um, that's because. So, Micah has too many nicknames. So, maybe like a. Eighth degree black belt fighter. Hmm, so could it be that you found their weaknesses and they pretty much have to stick to you? Or maybe you've blackmailed them, so you said things like, well, if you don't stay with me, then I'm going to spread this. An embarrassing photo of you to everyone and make you feel ashamed. Well, come on, so that's not what I do. So, why then? So, why do you have four girls now? Well, we've only known each other for a few days, but I don't think I can say that. Well, it's okay, so be friendly. So, Hmm, friendly. So, anyways, so what happened? So, I'm sure it's not everything just happened magically. So, there has to be something that pushed all this to make it happen. So, just tell me. I'm sorry, I can't. And now Ruria is curious to know what's going on. So, what are you talking about? And it sounds like fun. Oh, Ruria chan. And Ruria, who is at her desk, approaches us. So, Misawa sama, what kind of conversation do you have with Yahiro sama? Well, no, nothing. Huh? So, anyways, since I call you Ruya chan, you should call me by my name as well. So, call me Chisa, not Misawa san. So, what's your name then? Well, that's what friends are for. And after saying that, She said, gives a wink. Well then, so let me call you by your name then. Please do. Um, so, Chisa Sama. Okay, so since we're friends, we, you don't have to use the word Sama. Okay, so I'll say Chisa san. Hi, hi. There you go. Good. <laughs> hmm, okay, so it's kind of nice. So? Really? And even the trivial thing of calling each other's names might be something new to Ruria. <laughs> so, Ruria chan? <laughs> what is it? So, anyways, why did many people come to school today? Okay, so I'll leave the rest to the next episode. So, I did stretch this one a little bit more because I wanted the whole greeting part to be in this episode. So, anyways, I'm sure everyone would be curious about hmm, so what did a dull and ordinary Kujo? San do to attract all these cute girls to go to school with him. So that includes obviously Latifa and Ruria. 
and maybe Micah as well. So also, I find it interesting that Ruya is quite gullible, so she's willing to accept bad ideas from Io and Yahiro. And even though it's things that are inappropriate, Ruya sees it as education. But anyways, with that in mind, let's see how this goes next time.